stock model rest roughing has several advantages over the original reference toolpath method for rest roughing. In this example we're going to show you a couple of those advantages. Firstly we're going to create an initial roughing toolpath using a 32 diameter tool with a 6mm tip radius across the part. For this roughing toolpath we've used the area filter that was explained in a, pre in a previous example to prevent the tool from machining down into these very small pockets at the bottom of the mould which could potentially be a problem if the tool is not centre cutting. The next operation we're going to do is to add that initial roughing toolpath to our stock model and update our stock model to reflect the state of the part after that initial roughing operation. Now we're going to move away from roughing and we're going to produce a semi-finishing toolpath with a raster strategy to machine only the split surfaces. For this operation we're going to be using a 25mm ball nose. To prevent the toolpath from machining into the cavity we're going to be using the component thickness form and setting the cavity surfaces to be collision only and not machined. So there we can see the semi-finishing toolpath for the split surfaces only. As before, for the roughing toolpath we're going to add this toolpath to the stop model and again update the stop model to reflect the new state. So now we're going to go back and do some further rest roughing using this same tool, the 25mm ball nose, and we're going to machine rest rough the remaining material inside the cavity. The first method we're going to use is the original reference toolpath method. So here we're referring to the roughing toolpath that was created initially to determine the rest material. Now you will notice quite clearly that this rest roughing toolpath has machined over the top of the split surfaces even though we have semi-finished these split surfaces with the raster operation. This is simply because we have referenced the diameter 32 roughing toolpath which was done before the raster machining and using the reference toolpath method we know nothing about, Powermore knows nothing about the raster toolpath that was machined. So this is the first advantage of using the stop model. Because the stop model is an accurate reflection of the, the true stock after any operation, whether it is a roughing or a finishing operation, then the rest, automatic rest material detection will be correct. So there we can see repeating the same process but this time referencing the stop model gives us the correct toolpath to machine only inside the cavity. So to recap that first benefit is if we are combining roughing and finishing toolpaths and then going back and doing further rest roughing the only true way to accurately and automatically machine the rest material is to use the stop model. 
The second benefit of using a stop model for rest machining, for rest roughing, is when we have uh, a certain condition where the rest roughing toolpath has a bigger tip radius than the initial roughing toolpath. When we have this combination of roughing and rest roughing tool, the original rest roughing toolpath using the reference toolpath method will give us a very inefficient result and will end up in a lot of over machining and fresh air machining. To prove that, if we take a slice through, a single slice through the part and we draw the toolpath created with the stop model, we can see we just have a single pass to machine away the rest material. If we now draw the rest roughing toolpath using the reference toolpath method at the same position you'll notice we have a second cut or an initial cut which is in fresh air. So to recap the second benefit of using the stop model is when we have a combination of roughing tool and rest roughing tool where the tip radius is bigger on the rest roughing tool than it is on the initial roughing tool. The third and final advantage which we're not demonstrating here is when we want to use 3 plus 2 axis roughing. Using the reference toolpath method only allows us to create rest toolpaths when the Z axis of the tool is the same, is constant. So the only way we can accurately and automatically rest rough in 3 plus 2 axis is by using the stop model.